Right, today's day two of the rewire. We've just got here, we're still waiting on Amy to turn up because it's, a, it's about an hour bit dry for her. Downstairs, sockets are complete from last, well, yesterday's video, but other day for you. And we've got some sockets in. We're doing 450 off the floor, make things a bit more accessible, unlike the old sockets that were there on the skirting. We've got some sheets over this in a little bit. Boards are all up from yesterday. The best thing about this is the property is empty and it will be for the week, so we can leave it upside down like this. We just go around hoovering at the end of the day and we can make as much noise as we want. There's no neighbors, it's after seven in the morning and we can make some noise. Um, so through here, Emmy did some chasing yesterday. Here, unfortunately a bit of plastic fell off. The corner, one there, these are gonna be USB sockets. Running around, I'm draw the joist ready. I'm gonna give them a bit of a hoover out afterwards. And the only thing we've got to do here is come across. I've already got the board up in that corner there. That's gonna be our kitchen drop for our socket and our six mil feed. But we'll get to it. The walls here are lap and plastered for the light switch. But what, so what we're gonna be doing today is the socket's upstairs and start the light and feed in the tiny, tiny, tiny loft. But because this airing cupboard is going, the socket, socket as a shower, will be going here. We need to get the cables up into the loft. So me and Adam just had a bit of a chat. There's also a socket going here. So we're gonna use the zoning of the socket and this light switch to feed our smoke alarm feed, upstairs light and feed, upstairs, and then our three core from our smoke alarm back downstairs into the lounge. No, sorry, into the dining room with a heat. I think we're gonna do smoke in the dining room and a heat in the kitchen because there's a log burner in the lounge and a smoke alarm will just keep constantly get set off with it. And uh, just double check they've got carbon monoxide as well. So we'll get on with it, I'm just gonna do that. I've got a few extra sockets to sink in, sorry, light switches to sink in here. I'll use the old one here, I'm just gonna sink it a bit further for 25 mil. Chase a little bit more upwards as that's how high we can get our chases. And uh, sink this one a little bit more for the outside light and then get a good angle off a drill bit, which you'll see me do very shortly. Try and get an outside light feed here, so we can get a long drill bit straight through on the angle. Add, yes. you, that floorboard you got up yesterday, where the cables come down, the light switch drop in the uh, hall. Yeah. Can you pull them up for me, mate, please? Two seconds, I'm literally going to all draw around it. Okay, there should be a singles and two two cores. What I haven't mentioned as well is all the switch drops that we're going to do. We're going to do it in three core on earth, so that will allow us a neutral at the switches for the future in case any smart switches want to go on. So if you use that, put the super grommet in. I've not knocked loads of the brick out, we've just got the one cable going in. I'm going to do the same thing here, and then, and then we'll do a choreal, or oh, sound special, we'll, we'll call it an art sound special, drilling through the angle of the wall, which to be fair, the last time I did this was a video a long, long time ago, where I did this, to be fair, the light switch was about here, I drilled through and ended up, no, sorry, I was drilling from the outside in, trying to hit the centre of the chase, I ended up drilling through someone's lounge, which ended up about here, so... Let's hope we don't make that same mistake. And Amy's just driven straight past the road in her little postman pat van. Let's see if she... Oh yeah, nope, she's gone. Look how beautiful this is every morning waking up to this. Right, I've got the horrendously long drill bit. I'm gonna go up here, straight through. The sheeps are chirping away. Sheeps firing away, even though it chirped today. I'm gonna aim for around about here. We're gonna do a uh, coach horse lantern. So I know I'm gonna blow the brick out a little bit, but the base normally would be about the same size as my fist. So as long as we can contain it, hopefully I'm gonna try and go for mortar line and go through the mortar, but we just have to try and see. Unfortunately, I don't have a spare person to hold the camera for me and film. So norm, I would like to go outside to win, but it's a very small gap to get through, so. The line of light goes in and around there, we'll be okay. <laughs> My 
My jaw bit's too long. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Let's see if I've got a smaller jaw bit. Yeah. Right, I've got a bit of a smaller bit now. That's an Adam bit and that's a Nick bit. Take that as you will. Amy and Ad are just starting to pull Hello. Hello. the socket cable in, uh, but we'll run that up in a minute. I'm going to see if this, if I can get the camera angle right, is going to work. Maybe it's a bit OTT with this drill, but we love it, don't we? Now that's all done, I've just been going around with the drill bit. Very excessive with the drill again, I know. Going up, knocking out holes above each one so I can find them above. We've got this one here, that's all ready. Gaps behind the joists for the other side. All of these as well, straight through. So what I'm gonna do with this uh, rewire is I'm gonna rewire everything in three cores so there's a neutral at the switch. So while Adam and Amy, Adam and Amy are still pulling up some boards, they're in the far bedroom now. So they're just getting their route completely clear so they can sort of do it all in one go. But they're gonna do upstairs and downstairs, this room and upstairs first sockets, two separate circuits, 2.5 radials, move the bed, redo the sockets and then they can pull it through. I'm going to start doing some switch drops and then move on to the lighting. So we're going to be in and around each other. I've got, got, got the, the X board 3000, whatever it's called, you know, the cable running board, which is there. So I'm going to rip off that 25, put my three core on it. Start doing some switch drops. This one's dead easy to get to. After I've done the switch drops, I'm going to go around and um, start pulling the lighting circuits. Well, downstairs. I'll let Adam go in upstairs in the loft. Also, on another note, so. Plasterboard ceilings are rated to about half an hour if there's ever a fire. And not everyone, not a lot of people, we do it occasionally. We clip the cables under the boards. In the loft, we always clip them nice and neat out the way. But in underfloors, as and where we can get attacking, normally we just can with the boards lifted, pull it tight, we put another one in the far end so the cables aren't driven across the floorboards. But here it's all lath and plaster and I don't know the uh, burn time on pl lath and plaster ceiling compared to plasterboard. So I have got a massive tray of flexible clips and fire clips. So we're gonna get some of these out. That's for one five. That's, uh, so that's one five. That's two five. That's six mil. These are metal ones for flex and whatnot so I'm gonna take that up and uh, most of the runs we're gonna have quite a few boards up so I'm gonna go around tack them under the boards just under the floorboards just in case a bit of extra protection it's not overkill in my eyes because if the ceiling ever came down there was a fire and they're gonna hold up a bit longer than plastic ones so good practice really guys good practice sorry have you started recording <laughs> I'm not saying it again now so there's a three core coming up. We've got a little fire clip in there. Cut this board flush. We'll put a brace in there afterwards. If you don't know what I mean by a brace, then we'll get a piece of wood that's longer. We'll put it like that, but we'll tuck it underneath the board. A few screws, board can sit on top and screw that down. Fire clip there. I've just doubled over the cable a little bit, put a bend in it, put a clip there. And that's just going straight down to our light switch in the hall. So that's our hall light. That's our hall switch. And now I'm going to go and we need to do a two core as well, so I'll drop a two core down here, which will run, sorry, no, another three core from here up to the landing switch, and then there'll be a two core from the landing switch going to the landing line. Oh, hello. All right. You're not hot with them on your head? No, and that's a cool. You, you've not drilled anything yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing nothing? Okay, this is the three core going up to the landing light switch, which is about here. Uh, Amy's just pulling that through, so we're just rodding it round so we don't have to put too many boards up. Keep um, we, Yeah, so yeah. So Amy's feeding it through there. We've just run the downstairs socket feed in, metal clip here. I'm going to put one further down. Amy's just going to pull that and see. Oh, you can see it in the mirror a lot. Haha! <laughs> see? There is a lot of mirrors everywhere, isn't there? Good for you. Say, so, is it. Mr. Vane? Mr. Vane? How dare they? Sorry. At least I can Caught see in the mirrors, you can't even see them. <laughs> Caught in flexing. She didn't. In the mirror yesterday. She didn't. I had a twitch, it was all. <laughs> I just made sure everything's all right. Flexing their muscles. <laughs> Don't 
Is that is that gonna reach? So just hold the bottom, just hold the cable yeah, to the switch. Yeah. Just pull a little bit more off me. A bit more. I'd rather have a bit. Oh, that's plenty in it. Uh, right, I'll go over there, put a stick a clip in it and across. But Adam's doing downstairs. We're sort of doing three circuits at a time here, aren't we? Because we want to get this all back together to shift the bed across here so we can do the sockets there. So it's a bit awkward, but this is the, the joys of occupied rewires. But it's nice that the boards can stay up. You okay there? Do it. Amy's head's just slowly, <laughs> just slowly disappearing into the floor. <laughs> They nicked the uh, the runner off me, so I'm back to doing this again. Restrain this out. So I'm just chewing up some floorboards. Brilliant. So this is what it looks like with the oval conduit on with the all-round band. Nice, neat, below, flush, marked up, haul, two-way for the landing. Let's go up across here because it's two-way in here as well. So that's the only one. I can cut this one off, and then we're going to run a. Run a one core, one core? No, we're going to run a two core and a from here that will go up across the light fitting. The joists run this way, so once the bed's pulled across, that's going to come up, just rod across here, and then we'll do loop in, loop out. So I'm just going to get the switch shops done, and it's going well. Adam's getting them in. I've ran the oval conduit up for the first socket on the downstairs circuit. A bit of oval. No one's seen oval conduit before. It's the most, well, it's the perfect stuff to use with the wall chaser. So I'm going to try and do this one-handed. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, this is just pull off. So I'll try and leave a bit off. So we are pushing it a bit, a bit more difficult with that one because there's a joist in the way, but with this one, I'm going to bend this out. So we'll push a bit more into the ceiling, a bit up there. Bend that around like so, as it bends around. Slide that back down onto here. So in the future, that's in there. It's above the ceiling void as well. In the ceiling void, should I say? It's flat against there. Push this one across. Push this one across. And give it a little tap. Not too much. I want to pinch it in place, but not squash the cable. And then we'll do the same. That's in. So we'll fall back. Oh, if everyone's not watched the last video, I chased it either side and it's just old plaster, it just fell off. So we are gonna go around at probably the last day and get a bag of bonding. I'm just gonna chuck some stuff in there, just get the dust down. Always spray it with some water or some PVA first, just to absorb the dust, something to stick to. Where well, yeah, I think it's a great finish. From now on, that's the way they will be run. Really happy with that. This got a bit messed up because I had to chase the wall downwards because the Metabo was overhanging on here. And as I went to the top, there's that little brick. It didn't actually hit any brick. The plaster's that thick, as you can see. As I was trying to do it in the angle without the steps, it just run away from me. But it's within zones. So you take a two core up from there, across here, and then we can take it across. Um, let's step over it first. That's it. Double, I think just double over. Leave it there and then fold it again. Yeah. Just old stains in it. So this is what I mean with the two needs to go on here. This has been put in, all unbanded. That far side is now in for the socket in the corner of the lounge. It's just doing sections per sections. The other bed in the other room we've actually put on its side, but this one's well covered in stuff as well. Mm. Up already. And then over again. Right with me. That's it. The joys. Go on, I'd flick it up one more. That's it. Yeah. So, key thing, you probably know this because you've done domestic trial a lot. Is anyone that's folding it up, don't step on the crease. Especially old carpet, isn't it? Because yeah. if you step on the crease, you end up actually creasing it. And when you put it back, it's an absolute nightmare. So, there's me rod. Is. And that's coming across from that far socket, and you've got a socket, it's going to be about here, it's going to be in this one. Yeah, we'll drag it across. But we're going to do a socket either side of here, but this is a stud wall. Well, it's not stud wall, it's 
You don't feel like it's left the plaster. I mean, this bit is, but that's, that's rock hard. Right, we're just in the upstairs bedroom. We've got the last couple of socks to chase out. So I'm gonna do this. Amy's gonna pass me a few things. Can I have the drill, please, Amy? Yeah. Thank you. Can I have uh, the SDF bit? 5.5 bit, please. Yeah. Thank you. Right, okay. And a spirit level, please. Thank you. Right. That's that. Yeah, Adam, you can do it well. Nice one. Uh, can I get a pair of uh, cutters as well, please? Chompers. Thank you. Right. Uh, okay, uh, last thing. Can I get some oval capping, please? Thank you. How little are you? <laughs> Well, we're very far in today. Amy just said you haven't recorded. Don't look at look at these pair. Like you've done some work. To be fair, you worked hard. The reason is right. So we're going to do upstairs light and feed and smoke alarms. And I've said I'm not going to do a separate smoke alarm feed for a reason. And I'm going to ask why wouldn't I do a separate smoke alarm feed? Normally you would. I vary between the two. What reasons would there be to not do to tap it off upstairs lights? Adam? To not tap off upstairs lights. No, to tap off, oh, just to so it, not to have its own supply. Uh, cool, Amy? I don't know. I put them on together when I don't want them to be able to turn the smokes off. Boom. And why don't you want them to be able to turn the smokes off? Because then... They beep. They at risk. The problem, yeah, 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 well, we've been to loads of stuff before, or is because when you have, especially rental, I'm not, I'm not going to do it here, I'm going to put a smoke alarm feed in, because we can. But rental, especially, if the smoke alarm's beeping, they'll just take the batteries out and they'll turn it off at the breaker. Mm -hmm. Or if it's beeping, they will just ignore it or whatever they want to do. But if it's on the lighting circuit, they physically have to get the smoke alarms repaired or the heat alarms. Yeah, that's why I started doing it because I used to do uh, rewires in student houses and that's rentals it. and they would just turn them off. That's it, or put a plastic bag on. You put um, loads of socks over them and stuff like that. So that's why I started so, yeah, putting any, on. So yeah, any rentals or HMO especially, we would always... I mean, it's ideal you want to do your own one, but realistic, real world, it's better to tap off a sliding circuit so people can't turn it off. Anyway, it's a lecture done. I'm going to do my own circuit. Well, instead of bringing a, a three core and a two core up for smokes, we'll just do a two core to the floor here, and then just a three core up for the link, and then a two core and for the upstairs lights. So that's what they're for. And the heat alarm. Yeah, heat alarm. Yeah, it's all going. Once this, the bedrooms are going to be put back together now because they're all done. I'll just run through them. Yeah. Oh, do you want to do it, Amy? Here you go. Evil. <laughs> so we've got all our clips. I'm just gonna have a, a bit of a hoover up in a little bit in the floor, or I will, or Amy will, whatever. That's up to either side of the bed. There, it's a stud, and there, there again back down. This can all go back to normal. The same thing. Oh, hang on, I'm not. I'm gonna chase that. It's the only one that needs chasing. Yeah. And then this is a lath and plaster. Floors are all going back together what we've done here all link through up coming across that's the last one on the circuit floors going back down beds going back down everything from the bathroom in there will be pulled back through here and then from that we can do the stuff in the kitchen uh, kitchen uh, cooker kitchen circuit drag the line feed from here over to the kitchen and uh, but that's gonna be tomorrow's job we're just gonna have a bit of a pack up you want well, Adam sat down again as usual. Yeah. yeah. I actually look like slumped it. We're all hot and tired, and that's a lot of. Oh, I must say, who did that? Why is there so much cable? It was, it was you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a good hoover, we pulled a bit of the stuff up. We're just going to do a bit of plastering in here tomorrow. A bit of banding at some point. Amy's. Okay. <laughs> so, what's wrong with her? That's all capped and that's done. So I'm going to attack the kitchen tomorrow and I'm going to do the loft, well, upstairs lights. And uh, yeah, it's been a good one. Amy's not with us anymore, are you, Ames? This no. is it. It's last day. I've had such a good time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, she still needs to deliver some posts in her van somewhere down the road. 
Oh, we haven't done it. Oh, we were, we were meant to bring the label maker. We're going to make a label for the side of your van. Go ahead. Never mind. What's Easy. Sharpie? What's the matter? What are you looking at? That box ain't level, is it? Nick did that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about? That's, that's the issue. <laughs> You can go, and you. You walk home. Uh, Nick, I'll do one more video from this job, and we'll do second fix. Second fix. Yeah, we've got second fix and a bit, also, bit of board and whatnot. So yeah. Anyway, nice see you. Don't know why I blew a kiss to the camera for the first time ever. That was weird. Um, go across to Amy's channel. Check all the stuff out. I'll put it below. What's your YouTube channel called? Women in Trades with Amy the Sparky. Is that the your actual channel title? Is it? That's lovely. Bit of a mouthful. Actually, I think it's just Amy the Sparky. I think it's Amy Barrett. No, it's not. I think it's just your name. No, it's not. I changed it. It wasn't oh. my name. I'm not sure. Just put Amy Barrett singing. <laughs> I'll put the link below. Anyway, Thanks. see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Take care now. Bye bye then.